Hi, I'm Emmett Reed, Executive Director of Florida Healthcare Association. Welcome to another edition of FHCA's Provider Program. This was a short week for legislators with the Passover and Easter holidays, but it didn't stop your FHCA team from actively working our legislative priorities. On Wednesday, the full Senate passed its budget and included was the prospective payment system with the focus on rewarding centers for their commitment to quality. The Health and Human Services Budget Subcommittee is the largest subcommittee of those um, and that is because it is important for us to ensure that we are spending the funding necessary to make sure that all Floridians have the health care services that they need. Next week, our attention will turn to the House and educating those legislators about how PPS equals quality and is best for nursing centers and their residents. We'll be asking your help with contacting your representatives, so be on the lookout for details about how you can help with our grassroots advocacy. We also worked the Manage Care priority this week, with caregivers from Clear Choice Healthcare joining us at the Capitol to meet with their senators. Hi, I'm Kimberly Lehigh. I'm the Executive Director at Sun Terrace Rehab Center in Sun City Center, Florida. This is my first time here at Lobby Wednesday, and I'm finding it very interesting. We just finished up talking with I'm Senator Brainin and got to speak to him about our thoughts on managed care and how we feel about it and how we feel that our staff are more in tune to taking care of our residents more than a managed care company would be making those decisions on what their next transition is. Hello, this is Jeff Frazier with Clear Choice Healthcare. Very proud and happy to be up here at the Capitol with our team uh, throughout the state of Florida. We have many of our facilities here and our direct caregivers coming and speaking about um, the issues that are important to us as a company and as a profession. We couldn't thank uh, Florida Healthcare enough. They've done a great job putting this together for us and our, our team has never been up here to the Capitol, this particular group of caregivers, and they are um, a special group of people that do special things for a very vulnerable population and we're proud to have them here and um, getting their voices heard on the, um, on the largest stage here in the state of Florida. So. Uh, we, we thank them tremendously and uh, thank Florida Healthcare as well. Their messages on why managed care doesn't work for long stay residents and the importance of centers being paid timely and having access to managed care networks came at just the right time. Senate Bill 682 by Senator Kelly Stargell was heard in committee and advanced thanks to their visits and your help back home with educating senators about this key priority. Until next time, I'm Emmett Reed, keeping you informed about the critical issues that impact long-term care and the providers we represent.